Hello everyone. I hope you all are well and safe during this pandemic. So today I am going to make an Arduino project that is motion following motorized camera. This this project help to upgrade our home security camera with a motorized stand that will detect and follow any motion around the camera. So now I would like to talk about this project. Okay. So this project is going to solve a problem i would like to explain through an example i have one particular camera that is positioned on a wall between two rooms however you can only see one room at a time unless you log into the camera software to rotate it manually if someone were to walk into the opposite room the camera would never record the action so to solve this problem i decided to create a motion tracking base on which i could attach the camera so it would automatically reposition itself to wherever the motion was detected okay so you can see from here these are the components i required to make this project so i need one arduino uno one mini breadboard one capacitor of 100 microfarad five led five pir motion sensor five resistors and one servo motor this is the schematic of this project now i will explain how it works so you can see from here this device uses 5 pir motion sensor to detect any movement within a 180 degree radius once motion is detected a servo motor rotates the camera base to a point in that direction you can see there are also 5 led which is corresponding to it PIR sensor and these LEDs are positioned inside the base that will light up any time one of the PIR sensors detect motion. Okay. Uh, now I will explain each and every component and I will also explain the role of this component like how it will work, what is the role of these components in this project. So initially you can see the wiring of this project is simple and straightforward. Uh, However, due to the fact that there are five of everything, like you can see from here, there are five PIR sensor, five register, five LED, but there is only one servo motor and one capacitor. Okay. So now I would like, initially I would, uh, I would like to talk about the LED. What is the role of LED in this project? So I use the mini breadboard to keep the LED lights separate from the rest of the circuitry in order to allow for easier removal if needed. Each LED responds to different PIR sensor and will light up any time if PIR sensor detects motion. So uh, I simply connect each LED to a separate digital pin. You can see from here, there are five LED pins and these are connected to five pins. That is two, three, four, five, six on the Arduino. And after that, the another terminal of LED, I grounded them using a 220 ohm digital. Now I talk about PIR sensor. So I used a PIR sensor, I used five PIR sensor for this project. Each PIR sensor needs to be connected to a digital pin and uh, other two pins are connected to 5 volt and ground. If you are using the same PIR sensor as me, you can pop off the cover and the pins are marked underneath. You will connect each PIR sensor to corresponding LED in the code uploaded later. Okay. Now I will talk about the servo motor. What is the role of servo motor in this project? So, the servo motor is attached to the stand where the camera sits. Like it basically works as a base of the camera and rotates the camera to align with the active PIR sensor. Using the pinout for your motor, so uh, uh, okay, so you can see a P, uh, servo motor has three pin: ground, power, and signal. So I connect the signal to pin number seven. Okay, so using the pinout for your motor, connect. I will connect one pin to power, one pin to pin number seven, and uh, the third one to ground. Before powering the Arduino, make sure to connect a hundred microfarad capacitor between the power and ground. Okay, because it helps to protect the board from the power surges that occur when the motor moves. I would like to also share one more thing with you. Um, one thing to note about servo motor is that not all servo motor have a full 180 degree of motion. After some, ten, uh, after some testing, it is figured out that 
सम सर्वो मोटर मूव अबाउट वन सिक्सटी डिग्री सो मोडिफाई द कोड अकॉर्डिंग अकॉर्डिंगली इफ यूर मोटर डिफोज यू विल नो द मोटर इज ट्राइंग टू मूव टू फार वेन इट मेक्स अ ग्राइंडिंग नॉइज एट द लास्ट गेयर सेंसर पोजिशन ओके सो दिस इज द होल वर्किंग ऑफ ईच कॉम्पोनेंट ओके सो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट द कोड so this is my code so initially i used the library function that is servo dot h because i used the servo motor after that i assign a name to the servo motor that is cam servo and angle uh, to servo motor that is zero after that i assign the pin to led pin using a array that is 2 3 4 and 4 5 and 6 and after that uh, i also assign the current led pin that is 2 then i assign the digital pin to pir sensors using array that is 14 15 16 17 18 after that i assign the current pir sensor pin that is 14 after assigning the pin to pir sensor and led i also define the state of each pir sensor i keep all the pir sensor to high you can see from here 14 is high 15 is high 16 is high 17 is high 18 is high then i assign angle to each pir sensor like i define the angle for each pir sensor like each pir sensor will work between a defined angle like you can see from here first pir sensor will work between between 157 degree to 117.75 degree okay then i use uh, after that i write void setup so you can see from here uh, sorry you can see from here Uh, i define the pin number which i have attached the servo uh, servo motor you can see from here i attach the servo motor to pin number 7 then i use for for loop to define the mode of each uh, uh, each pir sensor then i use for loop to define the mode for each led sensor each led sorry after that i uh, write void loop so uh, in this void loop i use a for loop for each uh, for each pir sensor and after that uh, set the current pir pin to current number like when uh, initially you can see i have defined the current pir pin to pin number 14 but after simulation it may be possible that uh, the pir sensor connected to 14 will not be active like pin number 3 that is connected to pin number 16 detects a motion then in that case current pir uh, then in that case current pir pin will be uh, will become 16 similar thing with led pin after that i uh, after that i write a code pir status equal to digital root uh, digital read current pir pin so it will over uh, what will pir status will do pir status will read the current position of pir sensor after that i will check if that pir if pir status is high then uh, led connected corresponding to that pir sensor will also uh, turn and if the uh, and uh, after that what will happen i use a i use a if condition that is pir previous state pir if previous state is equal to 0 then what will happen in that case if high pir is different than current pir position then then the pir sensor then the code attached uh, assigned to that pir sensor will move to new position after that uh, after that i also check the condition like if pir uh, previous pin is equal to high then previous pir state will become high otherwise what will happen the um, digital write current led pin equal to it, and the, what will happen the led visualizes the sensors output pin state and it will remain low so this is the whole code i write for this project and now i will simulate this code so i will see what will happen <coughs> so i have simulated the code and you can see from here i have simulated the code now you can see from here uh, you can now see the servo motor and each led okay so let's assume this is pir 5 pir sensor 5 okay so let's see now if pir pin number 5 detects the motion okay pin number 4 detects the motion let's assume pin number 4 so you can see from here 
LED four is LED four has glow and initially you can see that the servo motor is at ninety degree angle, but now it has changed their angle. Okay, change its angle. So you can say in this work, this whole project will work. Okay. So this is the working of this project. I have also shown you the code, like how I wrote the code. I also explain the working of this project. I also explain what is the purpose of uh, purpose to purpose of making this project. So I think uh, I can hope, like uh, uh, I hope you will understand this project and you will try it on your on your hardware. Otherwise, you can also try it on Tinkercad, which is a software simulation app. Okay, thank you.